So, let's see. I am working on a typeface for a card called Jolly Holiday. You can kind of see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm testing out pinks. And these are the Hortum gouache. Um, over to my left is purple magenta. This is scarlet. This is matter lake deep. And then this is matter lake deep plus purple magenta. These are all mixed with titanium white. So I kind of just do a test pattern to see if I like these colors, if that's the right pink until I find one. Then I use a Raphael uh, Kolinsky number four brush with a brand new sharp tip. And what I want to do is I am mixing in a palette and I've got a little bit of water in here, fresh water, and I take a little bit of the white and I take a little bit of the purple magenta and I take a little bit of the, oops, sorry, a little bit of this. This is the Matter Lake, which is very deep. I'm going to mix it over there. Add a little bit more water, put it in, kind of keep mixing it till I think it's the right color. And it always dries darker than it actually is. Then I'm going to do is do a little test. That looks pretty good. And you can see that I've loaded that brush up pretty well. And I'm just going to load it up with a lot of, a lot of paint. So I have a lot of paint in the body of the, of the bristles right there. Okay, here we go. So I've traced on to the sketch. I've taken the sketch and I've traced it on to the thicker board. Sometimes I use uh, a light box to uh, trace on, but I am using a thicker Bristol board now, so I have to use a little bit of a different technique. And I, if it gets a little dry, I just add a little bit more wet paint in there and I go on it. So I'm painting right into the lines that I have created for myself. And you just kind of want to control that tip of the paintbrush. You can always go into Photoshop and adjust the edges. I kind of like that, that raw edge that you can paint in there. Finish up this L and then I'll Talk about how I'm going to do the second overlay color on that. I think you kind of get the idea there. So I'm just, when I'm going back here, I'm putting, I'm going back to the palette and I'm loading up that brush again with the color. So on each of these tips of these letters here, I'm going to put a contrasting red on those. Um, I'm thinking I like cadmium red middle for this. It's got a really nice rich color. So let's test that out see what that looks like. So when this is dry, you can um, overlay it with another color. But if it's wet, you can kind of mix it in like a watercolor and you can get kind of almost like a acrylic type of uh, look to it. Now a lot of artists use gouache on site. Some of the impressionists would go and use gouache on site. Now if you want to speed up the, the drying process, you're going to use a good old hair dryer. I'm just going to run that and I can kind of see. So now it's dry. In the winter the paint dries faster, <laughs> ironically. And this is the cadmium red, and I'm going to see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty nice. So what I'm doing is doing a pink and red detail for these this typography. And I'm just going to layer that over. So I'm going to lay that in there. Oh, that looks nice. Well, that's cadmium red deep. And I'm going to have some happy accidents here and there. I don't want it to look too too perfect. And I'm just kind of doing these tops like that. In there. And I'm going to do the L. And the end of this too. 
like that. I don't know if you can hear my snappy music, but a little disco, a little disco music in the background. Okay, and I'm going to do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's see, what do I have on my sketch? I have like a little... And I want to just see how that goes. Oh, that's pretty. So there. Now, I think I want to add some stripes in there. Kind of jazz it up. So I'm going to put an angle on that. I'm going to put some candy cane stripes into these. So, again, these this is cadmium red middle. The pink is a combination of purple, a little bit of purple magenta and matter lake deep with titanium white. And I'm not sure what I want to do yet, so I'm just gonna stop there. I'm gonna think about what I want, how I want to treat the bottom of that. I think I maybe should have gone the other way with the um, candy stripe angles. And maybe I should have gone this way. So, you know, it's all experimenting when you're doing stuff like this. And I don't mind doing things over and over until I get it to the right. So there you go. But I'm thinking in retrospect the candy stripes should go this way because it would be easier to match the curve. So I'll fix that on the next pass. But that's how you do it. <laughs>